In this demonstration, we will use ANSYS Fluent to model the flow through a plate heat exchanger. The two working fluids are hot oil and cold water. These fluids enter the heat exchanger from opposite ends. The plates are square with a length of 1.16 meters and a height of 0.116 meters. There is oil and water alternating between the plates as we move vertically. The flow rate of the water is 0.04 kg per second and the flow rate of the oil is 0.02 kg per second. The inlet temperature of the water is 308 Kelvin, and the inlet temperature of the oil is 353 Kelvin. Our goal is to find out the outlet temperature of the oil and the water. We will model our plate heat exchanger in space claim. First, we'll create a single plate, then we'll create a linear pattern vertically. We'll create name selections for the inlets, outlets, walls, and volumes, and finally export the model to fluent meshing. First, since our geometry is defined in meters, We'll change our units from millimeters, which is the default in space claim. Go to File, Space Claim Options, Units, and change the length to meters. We'll start with a rectangular base. We'll place one corner at the origin and type 1.16 for the length, hit Tab, and 1.16 for the width, and press Enter. Next, we'll use the Pole tool to create the first plate volume. Go to Pole, which switches us into the 3D mode, and select the square surface. Drag the mouse in the positive Y direction, and type in 0.116 for the height, and press Enter. Next, we'll choose Linear Pattern from the ribbon. We'll select the body, switch to the Direction tool, and press the Y axis on the origin. A preview is created for us to verify. In the options on the left, we'll type 10 for the count and 0.116 for the pitch. Press the green check mark. If we expand the pattern body, we can see 10 components, and inside each component is one of the pattern volumes. Return to the Select tool. In the Structure tree, create a new component and name it Water. Select alternating plates and copy them into the water component. Do the same thing for oil, but with the opposite plates. Now we can delete this pattern. We can verify we did this correctly by hiding one of the components. Here we have only water and here, only oil. Let's rename each solid. Shift-click the water domains, right-click the top one, and rename it water. Do the same thing for the oil. Next, we'll make our name selections. These will make meshing and solver setup substantially easier. When we export the geometry to fluent meshing, automatic zone names are applied to faces and bodies but by declaring our own, we can be certain which labels go with which feature. Switch to the Groups tab. First, we'll select all the water inlet faces using Control left click Click on Create NS or press Control g to make a new group and name it Water underscore Inlet. When we use names such as Inlet, Outlet, and Walls, Fluent Meshing and the Setup will automatically apply boundary condition types to these faces. We'll ensure they are correct during the meshing phase. Next, select the remaining faces on this side, create a new group, and name them Oil Outlet. Repeat this process for the opposite side of the heat exchanger. We have Water Outlet, and Oil Inlet. Select the walls of the water domains. New group, water, underscore side, underscore walls. Again, do the same thing for oil. Oil, underscore side, underscore walls. Next, we'll make a group for the shared interior walls. 
Select the water inlet and oil outlet. Right click and hide. Select all the interior walls and name them intermediate walls. Right click and show all. Our last step in space claim is to apply shared topology. Because we have multiple bodies that each share a surface, we can share the coincident topology. Switch to the Workbench tab and click Share. SpaceClaim automatically highlights any surfaces that fit our coincidence tolerance on the left. We can see all the intermediate walls highlighted red. Click the green arrow. It's a good idea to save the geometry before continuing to Fluent Meshing. Go to File, Save, and we'll name it Heat Exchanger. Now we're ready to launch Fluent Meshing. Under the Workbench tab, click on Fluent and Watertight Geometry Workflow. This concludes our video on the geometry creation of a plate heat exchanger. In the next video, we will mesh the geometry using Fluent Meshing. Thank you for watching.